Hi friends, welcome to the S3 Cloud Hub channel. In this video we are going to see, test deliverables. Without any further ado, let's start the session. What is deliverables? A deliverable is a product or result that is delivered to the client. The deliverable can be a software product, a design document, or any other desired asset. Test deliverable are artifacts that mean things that are produced by people involved in the process and delivered to stakeholders. Some deliverables are provided before the test phase, some during the test phase and the rest after the test cycle. Below is a list of test deliverables, test strategy, test plan, effort estimation report, test scenarios, test cases or scripts, test data requirements, traceability metrics, which is an RTM defect or bug report, test execution reports, graphs and metrics test summary report, test incident report, test closure report release note installation or configuration guide, user manual and test status report. We will discuss all these deliverables step by step. First is, test strategy. Test strategy is a high-level document that is static and is usually created by the project manager. It is a document that captures the approach to how we go about testing a product and achieving goals. It is usually derived from the business requirement specification, which is the BRS. Documents such as test plan are prepared keeping this document as a basis. Now, test plan. A test plan document is a document that contains a plan of all test activities to be performed to deliver a quality product. The test plan document is derived from the SRS product description or use case documents for all future project activities. It is usually prepared by the test leader or test supervisor. Effort estimate report in this report. Test teams usually mention the effort spent by the test team to complete the testing process. A test scenario. Test scenario gives an idea of what we need to test, it is like a high-level test case. Now, test cases and test scripts. Test cases are a set of positive and negative executable steps of a test scenario that contains a set of test data assumptions, expected result, post conditions and actual results. Sixth one, test data. Test data is data that testers use to run test cases. When running test cases, testers need to enter some input data to do so. Testers prepare test data. It can be prepared manually and also using tools. Now, requirements metrics traceability metrics which is RTM. RTM is also known as requirements metrics traceability metrics or cross-reference matrix. It is used to track requests for tests that are needed to verify that requirements are fulfilled. Next, defect report and bug report. The purpose of using defect report template or bug report template is to convey the detailed information about the bug to the developers. It allows developers to replicate the bug easily. Test execution report. It contains test results and a summary of test execution activities. Now, graphs and metrics. Test metrics software is used to monitor and control the process and product. It helps drive the project towards our plant goals without the deviation. Matrix answering various questions. It is important to decide what questions you want answers to. Next, test summary report. It contains a summary of test activities and final test results. Test incident report. It contains all incidents, such as resolved or unresolved incidents, that were found during software testing. Test completion report. It gives a detailed analysis of bug found, bug removed, and discrepancies found in the software. Next, release notes. Release note will be sent to the client, customers, or stakeholders with the report. It contains a list of new versions and bug fixes. Installation or configuration guide. This guide helps you install or configure the components that make up the system and its hardware and software requirements. Users guide. This guide gives assistance to the end user on accessing the software application. Last one, test status report. It's about tracking the status of testing. It is prepared periodically or weekly. Contains work done to date and work remaining pending. So, guys that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture if you have any question or any doubt feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching bye. Have a nice day.